Hi guys, it's Kira. It's Sunday, and it's a new year since I've made a video last. So, if you don't know, I'm taking Sundays now because last year I found a problem with Saturdays because I have shows on Saturdays and I have competitions on Saturdays. So I didn't want to have that conflict because that makes less videos for you guys. So I chose Sunday this year. Now, anyone on the channel, if you have a friend who would like to join, we still don't have a Saturday, a mon Monday, we have a Tuesday, we have a Wednesday, I think we have a Thursday, and no Friday. So we need Friday, Saturday, Monday. So if anyone has, like, a couple friends that want to do it, have them text me, I don't care if they have my number or not, it has stayed the same. So... This past week was really fun. We, as a drama department, went to Theater Fest. Theater Festival is an Illinois thing. I'm not sure if they have it anywhere else. This year it was at ISU, and when we were in ISU, we got to go to workshops and shows that make people better performers. So, basically, I went to a couple uh, makeup, well, I went to one makeup to, to like, makeup class with Anthony Kozar, who's the winner of Face Off Season 4. Um, so I'm really interested in doing special effects makeup, so you might see that later in the year. We might get a class, and when I say we, I mean me and Kat. We might get a class from him. Um, another thing that I went and I did, we went to this sandwich place called Avanti's, and we had lunch. And then after that, I went to a thing called Theater Games. And at Theater Games, I did the most memorable thing that I possibly could have done. So there's this improv game called Bus Stop. And Bus Stop is a lot of fun because it takes the weird anything that you could think and puts it next to a normal human being. And normally in theater, it's like for improv games, you have two weird people. So... The rules of the game is one person is a reaction person and they have to act like a normal human being. Not a theater kid, a normal human being. And then the other person has to act as weird as they can to make this other person leave. So I got to go be a weird person and basically what I did was I gave the full up down to this girl and then I sat as close as I could to her and I got like probably like this close to her ear. And I screamed at the top of my lungs. And basically everyone in the room laughed hysterically for a few minutes. And like I got a standing ovation from some people. A couple people stood up and came to give me hugs. Like people thought it was really funny. So that was really interesting for me. And then after that we went to see Gripes of Wrath. Which would have been better if it wasn't so long. <laughs> and I had a better attention span. Like, a lot of that stuff was just so slow, and I just, it was so hard for me to pay attention. I fell asleep, like, seven times. And then after Grapes of Wrath, we went to go to Panera Bread for dinner, which was Panera Bread, so it was obviously good. Um, after that, we came back, and I went to an improv show. Um, it had all students it's called All Fest. They try out at the beginning of the day, and they have tryouts through the entire day, so they don't go to any workshops whatsoever. So next year, I'm going to be trying out for All Fest. Hopefully, I can make that. Um, and then after that audition process and that craziness, they put on a show at 8 and then 10. So after the improv show, me and a bunch of my friends went back to the hotel, and we hung out, we talked, had a good time. And then the next day... I woke up, I didn't even eat breakfast because I was not hungry, and then I went to a playwriting workshop. So basically what we did was we wrote a play in 15 minutes, we blocked it in 5 minutes, so that's 20 minutes there, and then we spent like 10-15 minutes revising, so that's like 20 plus 15, it's like 35 minutes, and then we showed them and they're all two minutes long so there was a bunch of them and we just filled our hour with making plays and it was a really good time me and Brett and Kara from Mobanzi we were like the three of us were like we're a trio we don't have enough people so we met three kids from another school and they were really really cool and then after that workshop I went to a place called Catfart 
which is like the Three Stooges comedy. And then after that, I went to another improv show, but it was a professional one. So Theater Fest was the best experience of my life. And if you live in Illinois and you have the opportunity to go to it, you definitely should. So with that, question of the week. In high school, what would you categorize yourself as? See, I would say in high school, I am a theater kid slash band geek. That's it. Bye, guys.